Tony, hard fought nil nil draw, second time this season. How did you see the 90 minutes? Yeah, typical derby. I thought it was a great spectacle, intense passion, you know, everything you expect from a derby. And, um, you know, we've had two, I know it's at Amy Park, but we've had two away derbies now. And I thought the players were outstanding today. A really, really good performance. Especially in that first half, you created a lot of chances. Do you feel like you're the more unlucky side not to take three points from this one? I think if you watch the game, you wouldn't ask me that. If we were the unlucky side, I think, you know, sometimes you play a game and it's it's a, it's evenly balanced. I thought the last derby was evenly balanced. I thought we were very good today. So, yeah. Just unlucky then with the shots not going in. Do you think so? You pleased with the cre the quality, of the chances you were creating? It sounds like pleased with the with the play, with the attacking, with the defending. I thought, um, you know, with Ryan Teague and Fabian Monge, very young midfield. Eli Young, Nishan, um, Daniel Larzani, I thought in a big game, I thought those boys were really good and they were backed up by the experienced players. And um, yeah, I'd say the only thing that's disappointing is that we didn't win the game. Um, but I thought it was a, a very good performance from us. Yeah, really, really pleasing. Um, Daniel looked pretty frustrated uh, when he came off. Was there anything in particular <coughs> behind that? Was he? I, I didn't notice. So it was more just if there was a particular reason, like a. For, you, you didn't sorry? notice. You didn't notice him being frustrated. <coughs> no, I didn't see him frustrated. Was he frustrated? He looked pretty frustrated. Chucked the bottle down and may have just been. For oh, probably with his or. performance. Yeah. Um, just also the other moment that sort of caught our attention: the Maranyakalis, Jason Garia sort of scuffle around the 70-minute mm -hmm. mark. Should should there have been a red for Yakalis? I, I don't know. I, I asked the fourth official because from a distance, what I saw. It looked like he approached him with his head, but um, they cleared it. So, um, you know, just a bit of pushing and shoving that happens in a derby. So not much to it. And just obviously Bruno, you said yesterday was maybe a chance. Do you think he had the cast on today? Yeah. No. Tuesday, is he? Well, we, we think so. I, I felt if this was a, you know, after assessing it this morning, um, you know, he didn't train all week either, like with the group, but he was, you know, he could work. Um, yeah, I, th I think Tuesday he should be fine. We, we, we expect him to be fine by Tuesday, and today was always a 50 50. We had to really, it was just about the wound healing, and um, this gives him a couple more days. But we expect him to train with the team tomorrow, so that's how close he was for the game. <coughs> you mentioned how proud you were of the performance, but mm. on the flip side, that's now five draws out of your last six that they're piling up now, and no wins in your last six. Is also part of you that's a bit frustrated that you aren't, you keep on you know, leaving points on the table, I guess? Yeah, of course, as a coach, you, you always want to win games, but um, you know, we've, we've got to stick to our play and, and stick to playing the football we do. And, and I thought it was a, you know, probably the most dominant Melbourne victory has been in the derby for a very long time. So, you know, what do we do? Just throw away our, our game and just say, okay, let's just try and get a win any way we can. And of course we want to win, but yeah. it's, it's hard to be uh, disappointed with that performance in such a big game. So, um, of course, it's another draw, but, um, you know, I thought today showed uh, how, we're, how well we are travelling in terms of our play. Just with Azan, he seemed to be on fire in that first half, like just involved in everything. And then it seemed like after half time, he just sort of ran out of gas a bit. Is that <coughs> probably one of the reasons why he was subbed out? Or, and is no. no, is, it, is, it, is, is Outstanding can, first half? It looked like, it looked, to me, it looked like he was involved in quite a lot. I don't know if you disagree or not, but um, I thought he was creating quite a bit. Okay. Uh, you might disagree, that's fine. Um, no, no, that's, that's good. That's, 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 your, that's your view, but um, yep, yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and um, just looking... I would have mentioned a lot of other players apart from Daniel Azani from that performance. Oh, one of, no, no, I'm just in reference... A lot of players. In reference to him being subbed off, I'm, I'm asking, but... Yeah. But if you reference in terms of perform, if you watch the game of football, you would have mentioned Ryan Teek, you would have mentioned Fabian Monge, you would have mentioned Roderick Miranda, Damien De Silva, Jason Guerrier, the list can go on. Yeah, but, but the reason yeah. I bring up Azani is because he's got subbed off and just... Well, we, I answered that earlier, didn't I? Yeah. About the subbing off. Yeah, I know, but I was just, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I was just saying, because I, th I just thought he, he, he played well and got something. Okay. That's, that's the only reason why I brought up his name. You're right. Okay. There, were, there were many players that played well tonight. Yeah, and I would have liked to have mentioned them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Because those boys are 21 and 22 years old playing in the derby. Yep. 
Anyway. Anyway. The narrative is a narrative. <laughs> Looking to Western United, it's a three-day mm -hmm. break. It's a quite a short break. Um, what's mm -hmm. the next few days look for you guys? Do you sort of just... Recovery. Yep, yep. a lot of recovery. Um, tomorrow the boys will get together, of course. Um, reflect quickly on this game, but we have to move on. So, um, you know, if we can match that performance again, then, you know, we know we're in a good position for Tuesday, which will be tough. You know, they're, of course, they're, they're at the bottom of the table, but, um, you know, watch them play against Newcastle and they did very well here uh, last night. So, um, you know, they'll get the respect they deserve. And, uh, you know, we need another top performance if we want to win the game. Tony, just want to follow up on the interview with uh, Paul Izzo on the field after the game. He was talking about the good to get the clean sheet, but he also talked about maybe could embrace a bit more risk, take a few more risks in the final third to try to break the streak. Is that something that you'd agree with? Maybe there's scope to take a little bit more risks when you actually get the ball into the opposition's penalty area? I had this question from Michael Zappone as well. It's a strange question for me. I I'd like to know what, is risks, what does that mean? What does risk mean? I just take more risk ball, as I said so okay well you know when we say risk I think we dominated the entries in the box we dominated shots on the goal we dominated the game um, so it was a very good performance mm -hmm. fair enough yep Um, and ask about what your thoughts on Eli Adams' performance tonight, playing you kind of centrally rather than out wide. Yes, um, that's his. That, that was difficult for him. I thought he did very well. He ran out of gas, but um, you know I, I'm happy with his progress. You know, it was a tough game for him to play today, and uh, I thought the boy did good. And uh, he'll only get stronger. You know, he will have to. We'll see how he recovers from the game. So it's the first time he's probably ever started in a game like that or played with that intensity. So not easy for the young man, but um, yeah, proud of his effort. How do you plan out his kind of long-term development when obviously like, as you said, Bruno potentially coming back Tuesday and then, so it's probably him no longer being able to play centrally. How mm. do you kind of work on him developing his game when there's no kind of wild league or anything like that anymore? True, but the, the, the young players, the development isn't just about playing games, they've got to train they got to get their bodies up to speed to be able to handle the games. And, um, you know, that's, you know, Eli's improved a lot physically and um, it's why he got the chance today. And with a short turnaround, we'll see how he goes. But, um, you know, overall, it's a good performance from Eli. You know, we'd like, he has amazing technique. We didn't really get to see it much tonight. Um, didn't have a lot of time on the ball, but hopefully he'll get better at that in those type of tough games. And obviously Tuesday's you know, second local derby in four days. So, and Western, they do seem like to be almost a different team playing at this ground and they're coming off a win. Is that almost enough to, to you obviously always respect the opposition, obviously, but mm. is that enough to keep you guys all on your toes heading to that game as well? Yeah, of course. We, 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 you, know, you, you can see in this league, you can't take anyone lightly. Um, and uh, we, we certainly won't. We certainly won't. We need to recover well and um, you know, see which players you know, if they're carrying any knocks for Tuesday or not. But, um, you know, I'm sure we'll be ready for the game. And, uh, and they, they re you know, we should respect um, the opponent, and uh, which we always do. And uh, they deserve our, um, our very best, and we'll try and do that on Tuesday, give them everything. As you mentioned, Jason was very good tonight, but just Adama, is he going to be all right to go? I know you said yesterday. Uh, I, I don't think for Tuesday, to be honest. I don't. Um, he trained yesterday. We expect he could train with a group tomorrow, but I'm not sure whether just one or two sessions will be enough for him, but he's close. He, he's getting really close now. And just were you guys, and Rolly as well, is he in there? I know you said he wasn't quite there yet. Yeah, uh, yeah, not sure for Tuesday as well with Rowley. It would be nice if he was, but um, you know, we expect him to be available for the weekend. And just were you guys affected at all by the evacuation that wasn't? Um, I don't know. The players didn't come out as yet. I was already up there waiting to see what would happen. Um, uh, I'm glad that uh, the game went ahead, that's for sure. Yeah, we all are, I think. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>